Let's talk about UFC 272. Something, what was that, something the one more I current ate? events. We got Masvidal versus Colby Covington. What Ooh. do you think? It's like me and you, we fought. Like, who would I be? You're Colby <laughs> Covington, right? All right, all right. I'll be, uh, it- yeah, because, you know, I'm the all American. So, I, you know, I got to. Yeah, you're Colby Covington. So I'm hard. I'll be Street Jesus. Hell yeah. I'd rather be Street, <laughs> Ju- street Judas. <laughs> uh, you know what I, I'm excited about is Bryce Mitchell, man. I me too. Watched, I, I just watched, uh, I have like uh, the ultimate, what is that called? What's the thing with the uh, Ultimate Insider? Where you watch the UFC. Embedded. No. UFC what is it embedded? called? The ticket. UFC, UFC fight ticket. Pass? I still have my ticket. Fight pass. Yeah, that's it. Fight pass. I still have my <laughs> fight pass. So I was watching the season that uh, we coached. Me and Stipe were on the show. Mm-hmm. And Bryce was on the, he was on the other, he was on Cormier's team. And I just watched his semifinal fight. Man, he's freaking good, man. I was wondering, how the hell did he lose? I don't remember him. Because I know how good he is. I'm like, how the hell did he lose, man? He's freaking – Bryce is nasty, man. And I like Edson Barboza, to? too. He lost to this kid that's not – I don't think in the UFC anymore. This kid, Brad Katona. Uh, okay, he's a good yeah, dude, Bryce. too. And, uh, I mean, my opinion, I thought Bryce was kind of putting it on him in the fight. He just got caught, did something stupid. Yeah. He was a guy that – he's a guy which I love, man. He's always going for the finish, and he never thinks he's up on the scoreboards. Let me coast a little bit. He's just always going for the finish and always trying to finish a fight and always thinks he's losing, which is kind of cool. And uh, I mean, he makes for a fun fighter, in my opinion. Do, um, do you remember when he came out to Long Island and trained out in Long Island? Yeah, he's an awesome times? dude, yeah. man. I love that kid. <laughs> yeah. um, and he, that's how he got caught doing something. Yeah, I think he gave the guy his back in like the third period. That he should something he really didn't need to do. He was probably winning on all all the cigar cards. And gave the guys back and wind up losing. Um, yeah. But him and Barboza is an interesting fight to me, man. That's a striker grapple fight for sure. So mm-hmm. that'll be a good one. I don't know. Yeah, it's like Edson's been around for a long time, bro. I remember when he everybody. fighting in the ring of combat. Like, <laughs> yeah. he was just knocking people out. Who do you fight in the ring of combat from the, your team? Nabi, one, two, three. Oh, my God. Yeah, it didn't work out. Sorry, Nabi. That was a, really, that was that was a, a really one. brutal knockout. But he killed him. Knockout. He didn't get up for, like, like yeah, a, lot. a month. Yeah, a month. <laughs> he didn't get up. Well, now you got you said sorry, and then you said you were sleeping for <laughs> yeah, it a was, month. Well, it's, it was it's a not really exactly like – there's not a lot of shame in losing the edge of my brother. guy's a freaking stud. <laughs> he's a he's a freak of – like, it's just a freak of nature when it oh, comes to athleticism. God. And, like, it's just explosivity. Explosion, man. All, how quick he gets that leg up and our oh, de- God. He is That's just – he's like another Jose Aldo, besides yeah, he still kicks yeah. a lot. Yeah, uh, he's a beast. So, who do you got? What do you think of that? What do you think? Happens? I think I, I don't know, man. I'm all for the new new blood, man. I want all the old guys to be done and retire. Oh, me. thanks, bro. I'm coming back here <laughs> in my next fight. I know who you're rooting for. Hopefully, no, I go mean, against listen, a really old guy. No, of course, bro. I want you, you, you realize that every UFC you're champion fight, you're right now is again? in their thirties. You're 30s. not fighting again. Wait, hold you, on. You're fighting again? Hang on. Do you realize that every UFC champion's in the thirties? I crazy? know. I know. It's, Isn't it that crazy is, though? It is you crazy. Yeah, no other sport. Nobody no young. Sport. Well, especially where there's sport so much all experience. These guys are young. Yeah. Experience is so important in MMA, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, but so you you thinking Bryce Mitchell though? I think Bryce wins it. I just love Bryce, man. He's a great Me dude. Too. And I love Edson too, Superman. But it's just uh I don't know. I love his skill set, man. I love how he goes for it all the time, man. Yeah. And then obviously I want Masvidal. Who else is on that card? Um uh, you got the heavyweights. You got Dan, uh, Greg Hardy versus uh, Ol- Olsnick. Yo, Troy, what's uh, what's the guy's name? Oh, that- I know who it is. The guy Olsnick? who does that bow constrictor choke. No, something? I don't think it's a super old guy. Not that guy? It's not that. Spitvac? Do you know oh, him? he's more of a ground guy. Remember when he fought um, he fought Derek Lewis, I remember. And like Derek Lewis was – I think it was Derek – like. He was kicking the crap out of Derek. They kept taking him down at will. And Derek Lewis just decided, I guess, at one point, he's going to stand up with zero <laughs> technique whatsoever and <laughs> knock him out. And that's what he did. It was pretty crazy. That guy's pretty de- decent ground guy. I think that could be he's a problem a, he's for a Hardy. Big, I think he's the favorite over Hardy. And Greg Hardy, the, he's saying he's 295 pounds right now. Yeah, that's he's a, I, I, I can understand being a problem. But Greg Hardy was this close to being the guy. I mean, he was... This close to putting uh, Tio Basso away, you know yeah. what I mean? He it was He's punch for punch. It's who gets gets caught first. He got, you know what I mean? He had 
he had uh, two of us heart and then hurt and then two of us knocked him out. And then, you know, two of us just beat Derek Lewis. So he's a top guy. You know what I mean? So I think Greg Hardy is a top guy. I would take Hardy in that fight. Me too. For actually. sure. I, and he's the underdog. So that's a good bet. He's an underdog. Yeah. He's I would take him for sure. And then you got Rafael Dos, Ange- uh, Dos Santos versus um, uh, Mochano because the dude Fiziev back. Then. Oh, that's the main event? I- that's the co-main. No, main event is Masvidal and Colby. Oh, that's the yeah. okay, that's good. the co-main, I think. Good, good, good. And Bryce Mitchell might be the co-co. Um, Hang on one second. I don't know. I, I like the Sanya's mustache. I'll take that. See. Um, oh, we got Kevin Holland versus Cowboy Oliveira. That's an interesting one. Kevin Holland's oh. dropping down to one seventy for the first time. To and he's fighting Cowboy Oliveira. You know Cowboy, right? Like, yeah, Kevin Holland's another guy. That just doesn't look like he gives it. Which I mean, in this sport, you really do have to give a shit a little bit more than he does. So as a guy who doesn't Olivier, give a shit, he never a, really gave a shit. You, you actually kinda you have look at, to, yeah. You I mean, I, I didn't have people. a lot of success at, at, because of the way it was. Uh, Olivier is a guy I think, from what I know about him, he lives for this shit, man. Like he don't have anything. He's like a legitimate cowboy. He, he, I don't think he ever graduated like though. first grade. Like he's not, a, you know what I mean? Like. Not an educated guy, anything like that. He's a fighter, and that's it. Tough as hell. And after watching Yellowstone, how do you not root for a cowboy? Come on. I'm, uh, I'm with you. I'm a big Yellowstone <laughs> guy. Shout out to 1883, too. 